I know I just recently posted a scroller box video, but I don't want to fall behind on these again. Hello everyone, welcome to another scroller box unboxing. So this is the December box of 2019. Fun fact, the first scroller box I ever opened was the December box of 2015. So yeah, I've been doing this for a while now. So let's open this. It's a little unusual, I can't see anything. So let's just move this out of the box. Oh, I see a ruler. Let's start with a featured artist. This looks very interesting. So this is the featured art of December. I see a lot of geometric shapes and I'm not really sure which way it is supposed to be, but maybe it doesn't really matter. So the featured artist is Mirella Duta. I hope I said that right. And here is where you can find them if you want to check out their work. I am very curious to find out what supplies we have to work with. Mmm, oh, I recognize this one. We have a little sticker in this kind of bronze color. Very cute. And I don't want to look at that just yet. And we have a wrapped candy. Kind of looks like licorice, is it? Mm, I don't really know what it is. It tastes kind of like chocolate and licorice. Oh, it looks like we got the whole paper pad. So that's exciting. So these are six fine art pencils from Derwent. And I do think I have a couple of these from previous scroller boxes. Yep, we actually got two packages from them before. These are the colors that we got in previous boxes. Let's check out what we got in this box. Oh, these do actually look a little different. So it looks like we got metallic colors. We got pink, green, poop. <laughs> what the heck is pewter? Pewter? Pewter. Pewter. Ice blue, purple, and rose gold. Derwent metallic pencils blend together beautifully to create vivid and striking effects. These are apparently water soluble, so that can be interesting to play around with. Then we have a ruler from Derwent, and this is apparently a copper ruler, so that sounds fancy. Oh, I guess this is supposed to be copper color then, not bronze. Then we have these that I actually got exactly Exactly the same in the upgrade box that I recently opened. So these are the Faber-Castell Metallics and I really love the naming of these pens. The silver one is called Nothing Else Medals and the gold one is called Heart of Gold. And then lastly we have this whole little pad with these black paper sheets. Paint on Multitechniques Noir. These are in the size A5, 250 grams. And we got eight paper sheets. This is from the brand Clear Fountain, I think it's pronounced. So yeah, I guess we will be drawing on a black paper today with the help of a ruler. So let's check out the scrawler challenge, which is squared away. That sounds interesting. I'm not really sure what that is supposed to mean. Maybe we're supposed to just play around with square shapes. So yeah, I really have no idea what I want to make with these supplies, but let's start with swatching them and maybe I will come up with something. <laughs> So let's start with these gold and silver pens. Oh, I really love how these pop on the black paper. And a little heart of gold. Look at that. Then we have the metallic pencils. Definitely shows up on the paper. They are very soft and smooth. I really like that. Have the pewter. Pewter. We have a lovely purple. Lastly, the pink one. Really love the different colors. We also have to try out the ruler. Will it make straight lines? Yep, it definitely looks like it. These supplies are really fun to just play around with, but I still have no idea what I want to make with these. Just doing patterns like this isn't really something that inspires me, but maybe I can incorporate that into something else that I like to draw. Oh, and I just remember they're supposed to be water soluble, so let's see how that will work. Um. Not super impressed, to be honest. Seems like it is only the metal particles that are flowing out in the water, so I don't think I will use water with these pencils. 
Hello, hi, voiceover me here. I always try to make these scroller box videos with real time talking while sketching, but I always end up not talking for a very long time or I'll just mumble a lot. All my brain activity goes to the drawing, I suppose. Anyway, so I started with doodling some animals, a bear, a raccoon, a wolf, I think, using references. And I even tried the color pencils on white paper, mainly because I didn't want to waste the black paper to make rougher sketches on. Sometimes when I do these scroller challenges, I try to make more rendered, finished artwork, but this time I wasn't really feeling the supplies. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed working with them, it is really good supplies, but I didn't really know what to do with them. So I ended up just playing around with them, having fun, testing some different things. I knew I wanted to draw some animals that are very natural and organic and then combine them with some geometric shapes or square patterns. I thought that would be an interesting combination. Also, do you prefer seeing me create more rendered finished artwork for these scroller box videos or do you enjoy these more playful trying out the supplies kind of videos? Let me know. So I had an idea to make this raccoon and then add the square part of this challenge by having these blocks coming off from the raccoon, like the raccoon is dissolving into pixels or something. I don't know, I've just been watching a lot of Game Grumps lately, playing Twilight Princess, so there's where my mind at right now. The problem I had with the raccoon is that I didn't really know if I should color in the dark parts around its eyes or if I should just leave the black paper black. Usually on white paper, the more I color, the darker the color gets, but here on the black paper, the more color I add, the lighter the color gets, so I have to think backwards kind of. So I made a mistake to color in the dark parts around the raccoon's eyes and I didn't like that at all. So I tried to salvage it by adding more contrast with a silver pen, outlining the whole thing, but eh, didn't work that well in my opinion. So I moved on trying something else. This time I drew a bear and I didn't have a plan for this one at all. As I said before, I was just playing around with the supplies and it was honestly quite relaxing. Thing. When I had the sketch of the bear done, I went in with a ruler, just drawing a bunch of lines all over it, drawing these straight lines over the sketch of the bear, created all these different little fields or squares, and then I went in coloring some of these squares or shapes rather. I tried to leave some space between the fields so that I didn't color in one field next to another one. Well, you can see for yourself, it is a little hard to explain. It created this psychedelic feeling, I think, and I really liked it. Also, these pencils are so smooth and nice to blend. I really liked mixing the purple, pink and the ice blue. Since I really enjoyed making that bear, I wanted to give it another go, trying to make something a little more polished. Even if I love the pink and the purple color combination, I used the rose gold instead to switch things up a little. And I basically did the same thing here, drawing an animal, a wolf this time, and then going in with a ruler, drawing a bunch of lines over it and then coloring in some of those fields. And this was so much fun, very meditative and relaxing. I didn't have any specific idea or plan where to put the lines, I just made them where I thought it looked good, pretty much. I also added in a little bit of pewter to the gold to give it a little more shine, so to speak. Also, while doing this voiceover, looking at the footage, I realized I really wanted to add something more to this wolf, so afterwards I also went in with a little bit of pink to give it more dimension. I don't know if it made it better or not, but that pink on the black paper is so pretty. And these are just fun doodles, so I don't really care 
too much about them to be honest but yeah it is fun to see how I improved with these supplies when giving it a little bit of practice from having no idea what to make with them and not really liking the outcome to kind of adjusting and getting an idea how I can use them and then making something that I am actually pretty pleased with so yeah practice kind of makes perfect sort of I hope you enjoy these little doodles and this video thank you Scrawlerbox for sending me these boxes to play with and thank you guys for watching. I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!